Good evening, friends. Hello, world. Welcome to another session with me, Varun, on Tech Tablet. And in today's session, we would be continuing with where we dropped in the previous session. That is, smartphones part two was handled, and in this video, we would be looking at smartphones part three. Right. So, talking about me a bit. Well, I'm Varun, and I am also a developer with four and a half to five years of experience. And I have basically, you know, come up with this channel because a lot of channels that are available on the internet which have quality are to be paid for and which do not have quality have things for free so i'm just trying to strike a balance between them and also trying to help at least a few aspirants who are looking for some you know genuine help because when i was learning or when i started being a developer back then i had to face a lot of problems because of different issues so i'm just trying to help a few of them who have problems so the aim of this session would be to understand the basics of smartphones right to look at the coding perspective for development and also in this process we would be understanding what is the interview perspective and how do we answer in an interview right so now what we'll do is let us quickly get onto the, de the development paradigm this is the report or this is the smart form that we we're working on c tax report i just you know do the display first and then we'll again start working on we'll just do a quick recap of what we did not more than a minute so we just created some basic folders right and we just arrange them here in this session we'll just add some borders to them a b we'll add some more functionalities to the form that is available in front of us okay so what we have to do first is let's just go ahead and check the output okay so what is it that we're working on all the while so we'll first work on that and then let's go one step further to see what is it that we can do so we have the function module that's generated let us now execute this once again and when we execute this we would be having We've, or we would be able to see the output that we were working on all the while. But before we get the output, we would also have to select the name of the printer, which would uh, you know, pop up in the choices of output devices. Generally, it would be LP01, which is a standard uh, you know, printer option that we have. But then in your organization, you would be given a different name or you would be given access to a different printer, which you could use. So here it comes going for the output now this page would finally get me to my choices of printers i will be selecting lp01 selecting print preview and we should now be having the output so here it goes but then i have a box only on one of them not on all of them so why is that that is because of the fact that we have selected a checkbox on line switch in box and shading tab we have selected we, you have an option of a checkbox in which you can select uh, you, you basically have two options that is always draw box and shading and the second option would be line width so we'll just see that the moment we go on to the main screen yeah, so going back from the function module now yeah so this is the development page that i was talking about and here if you go to each and every folder on the output options you would be able to see a check mark on lines width so it is because of this option that we were able to see a box only on one of them so now what we'll do is let us change this to edit mode and now let us draw a box and shading on each of the folders So when we do this, basically you would be able to see, or, or you would be having a better, you know, idea about your output. So we will not be keeping you holding. So just give me a minute, and we should be able to see that. Done. Save this. So we now execute once again. LP01 will be, and here it goes. So, this is how I have things right now. Okay, so there's a solid gap in between. I think we have not checked another box. So, we'll just go back and cross check. 
see this box it's not crossed but it's not checked so that's the reason you had a, 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 a huge gap there so now what we'll do is let's quickly execute things once again let's check what we would be having yeah so now i have things here with me well but then there's a very small uh, issue that i'm able to see that is overlapping of some windows so our next target would be to eliminate these over uh, these overlappings a and b we would also be you know changing the place of the stacks invoice i want the stacks invoice text to be in the header and not on the address panel so now let's quickly go ahead and make changes to this thing that we were that, that we're talking about so going back onto my screen and i think in this we have a general we have a text in general attributes so tax invoice i think this is placed in a wrong place and this has to be in the heading here okay so now i just paste the same thing all right so now i will be saving this and now let's go to the output and check things once again if we would be having any difference in the place where our tax invoice was earlier and now so now that it's saved i'm quickly generating the output you don't have to click on display the function module you can directly go ahead and execute it so that's exactly what i'm doing right now great so the the, the, the place of my tax invoice is was here earlier and now it is here right so now i'll be looking at populating the next set of boxes that is these and then the other target would also be to achieve the alignment or the spacing of these boxes right so now let's go back and let's start working on some other boxes or on some other pages and windows as you might want to call it technically yeah so now before we go into any further development scenario now that we have created a layout and now that we have seen how to you know make changes to a layout and how to get borders to the layout and how to add different folders here and, and now what we'll see is now that we have different folders what are the different files or what are the different information related uh, or what are the different objects you're supposed to add in them is what is something that we would be looking at so here there are only two most important things that you have to know the first thing being logo and the second thing being address so whenever you want to enter the address all that you can do is you can just click change this right click create here you would be having an address folder right so, or you know you would be having an address tab okay so you can just come on to this address tab you, you don't want this text i think it's been created by mistake so here you have organizational address personal address workplace address determined dynamically and here you have the address number which you can enter and when you enter the number and when you go further within the general attributes only you would be having to enter you know the further or you know some more detailed information like this address number could be the work area that you have created like let us say you have a work area with uh, you know address as adrs so it would be wa dash adrs right so that is what would be coming into this place so that is what we mean by address number we do not mean a number like 100 or 121 okay this would be the output starts with box and here you would be selecting you know like okay now i have created a p1 p2 and p3 as we know so here we can choose p1 p2 or p3 that you want to start from so this is how we create an address bar here we have a logo tab in which you can create a, a, a graphic you know you can choose a graphic option you can just right click on the folder and when you right click on the folder you would be having the same options well uh, the server seems pretty slow today so anyways so you know here you have form 
attributes and form interface and global definition right so now we'll see where to enter the name of the table and um, then we'll also look at some theoretical part of our, of or, or you know about the smart form in today's session and in the next session uh, you know i'll just get this issue resolved i think it's probably my internet or probably the server i'm not very sure about it so then in the next video what we would be doing is we would be adding information onto the address panel a and b we would be also extracting information so here i have a create uh, uh, tab which is finally formed so i would be choosing the graphic part and when i go to graphic i would have to enter the name and where would I find this name? You can find this name, or you, know, you can find if you have a graphic available or not in the graphic panel or in the graphic related T code. I think that should be able to show you things. Okay, so here you have form attributes, right? Followed by form interface and a global definition box. Yeah, so here in this. Uh, tab which is the form interface tab i have import export tables and exceptions option which i could choose from so in 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 this area or in this place we would be entering the table that we want to enter right in the import parameter and you would be giving the type of the table and also the associated type and the default value of the table here you would be having some export values that you could choose from and here you have the name of the tables that you can enter if there's any you know and generally it would be from the name of the tables that we would be choosing or that we would be you know extracting information from or we would be adding information into right so as you're able to see the server is pathetically slow today i'm not sure what's wrong with it so in the upcoming video uh, you know we'll look at more of development paradigm and uh, you know let's get done with it so in part four i assure you that we would be looking at more of uh, you know only uh, at more of development uh, part and not more of technical info and, and not more of technical and theoretical info right so i hope you have enjoyed or you know you have learned at least something new or, or you know something very basic though but then yeah i hope you've learned something new do not go anywhere do not get disappointed in the upcoming video we would be looking only at the development paradigm and we would be making it a more lengthier video to ensure that we cover the time uh, you know the loss of time and also we look at more insights of smart form and then we, we would go ahead right so this is me Barun, logging off hoping to recover from the server speed in the upcoming video have a great day ahead Take care.